morning, it's seven o'clock. I've just woken up. I'm in a pretty good mood. I've actually got yoga in about 10 minutes, which is why I've just ran here, get a quick snack. This class is very chilled. It's very much a moving meditation. When I go to yoga, I don't necessarily see it as like, I'm gonna go do a workout. It's, I'm gonna go and like change my mood. I'm gonna go into a meditation. Like that's what I see it as. Yeah, I do like it, especially at the beginning of my day. So I'm back from yoga. I got into a real yoga phase like a month ago and I went every single day for like two weeks and I loved it and it made me feel so good and in tune with myself. And then I just kind of lost it because I stopped booking them and I thought, oh yeah, I'll just book them like on the day or like the day before. But the thing is like, you know, if you do yoga classes, you can always somehow like, oh, there's just not enough time today or it's just not the right day but like it's actually a fundamental thing like it helps you so much so last night i booked every single day this week or like most days this week to do a yoga class because it's just the breathing part of it especially the nighttime evening classes they relax me so much anyways on to breakfast on the way back i went to sainsbury's and i just got a olive bread thing it was just what i fancied and i always feel like you should have exactly what you fancy so i'm gonna toast this and have some avocado on it because that speaks to me the only plan i have for today is to go to an aerial yoga class me and millie were supposed to go together but she went to bed really ill last night so i'm worried that she's not gonna be able to come and then i don't know if i should go so i've got very unaesthetic avocado toast here put some salt on maybe some pepper and then I do just like a cheeky drizzle of honey on it. Oh, those messages. Who's that? I don't know, this is random chat. I'm a boy single, I want a girl. I want what the fuck? That's weird. <laughs> Hello gorgeous gorgeous girls and guys, um, I'm now going to go to the coffee shop to do some editing. I have filmed my first podcast and I'm actually pretty happy with it I think. It's going to go up on like Spotify and Apple Music and then also YouTube with the video version. So if you want to sit down and watch it or if you just want to listen to it while you do other things it's up to you. Um, so that should be out within like the next week or so which is kind of exciting. I'm just waiting for the graphic to be done and then I don't even have a Spotify account. I'm an Apple Music person so I need to set that up. Um, I hope you're doing alright. Um, you are still more than welcome to attend and we'd love to host you for the day um, and show you the facilities because I'll let the team know that you're going to be coming in. Should have bought your flower. I need to leave in an hour. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? I'm still going to go to the coffee shop but it means I'm literally going to have to leave now. I might even put on my yoga outfit so that I don't have to stress about that. What did I come in here to do? interesting i know this is really not no i'm actually not going to complain about it mm. basically when i choose an outfit like a gym outfit i don't just have to choose what i look good in i have to choose what needs to be shown on my page like new gym shark or apples but then if i have my favorites and it's, it just gets a little tricky and i like to wear the same thing every day so then that's where it gets a little tricky because i've got to be showing you brother i don't know whether it's a leggings vibe today okay no we're just gonna go to the coffee shop and that can be a later a later issue 
you know when people are like oh if i go to the gym every day i get like mental sanity you know i just feel like something structured mine is the coffee shop like i don't need to go to the coffee shop now i could edit on my bed but just walking to the coffee shop and doing something for one hour it it fills me up this is today's fit check so hot So I just finished editing, well, I wanted to carry on, but obviously I'm a bit time restrained. Not time restrained, it's just the flow of the day, Anna. Just the flow of the day. Anyways, I'm gonna go back home now, quickly change into some yoga gear. I'm really excited for this aerial yoga class because I have an aerial swing on my balcony and I'm doing stuff on it and I just wanna know more things to do and I'd love to be able to like do actual yoga things on it as part of my yoga routine in the morning because that would be fun. So yeah, I'm going there for some inspo. I've also really wanted to go for a long time and it's in South Kensington. So it's a really nice area. I know they have a massive whole food store. So I am definitely going in there. Anyways, I'm blabbing. So I will see you when I'm ready to go to the next place. Okay guys, so this is my adorable outfit. Um, just got a Brandy Melville lavender sweatshirt. And then we've got the Gymshark Adapt Animal set which i'm gonna wear which i thought was perfect for yoga and then i'm just gonna wear my new bouncers and yeah that's basically it Ankles. Yeah, I know. The acne is tender. Do you do it often? I do. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me why. Yeah. Okay, I'm now doing infrared. I don't know what this is. Infrared. Okay, I think this is called photo biomodulation. Um, I'm getting a real treatment today. This is this is luxury. I, I can't believe it. Um, Fifty-five pounds for a single session. But yeah, apparently like if you do all of these like three methods, like basically I'm gonna be thriving tonight, tomorrow for the rest of the week. So this is 20 minutes. I'm gonna film without getting my boobs in. I don't know how that's gonna work. Wow, I feel super relaxed after that. I was just thinking about things. Um, yeah, I could fall asleep in that. Guys, I've got my own like sauna room. I am living the life. I've got my little lemon water. I can connect to Bluetooth so I can play my own music. I'm rather excited. Right, let's get in. Park and it's absolutely gorgeous. I've got pearl barley in here, pesto pasta, couscous, quinoa, rice, coleslaw and salmon. So a real range of fruit and fibers. The smoothie was actually delicious. It had protein powder, banana berries, I think maybe some collagen. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm just enjoying the sun by myself in Hyde Park. Hey guys. 
guys, this is what I'm having for dinner. Um, Harissa chickpea courgette sweet corn fritters. I made it yesterday. Oh! Guys, look at this. I've got five of these little fritters and then I've got leftover coconut dressing. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Hey guys, I don't feel like I've chatted much in this vlog today. Um, so basically, I had dinner and then I forgot that I... Basically, I booked a yoga session yesterday thinking it was like the one I did this morning but it wasn't my name wasn't on the list this morning so I was confused and I realized I booked the 7 p.m evening one but the thing is I can't cancel my bookings because I've already like cancelled it twice and if I cancel another one I'll lose my membership so basically I had to go but luckily like it was a meditation one so it wasn't like exercise so it wasn't otherwise I literally would have done like three yoga sessions well I, I did do three yoga sessions but obviously like like, like most of them were just like meditation ones so just good for the soul i think yoga and meditation this whole thing where like oh but my brain is so loud and like i can't concentrate i'm like yeah just as you would give the time let's say you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend to listen to them and be like tell me what's up tell me how you're feeling without any judgment without reacting to them just listening to them we don't do that to ourselves. I see it as a time to turn up to myself and if my brain wants to yap on about all the things she's anxious about and stuff like that, I'm just there for her and and I'll just, while that's all going through my head, to help like soften it all, I'm just like, okay, I understand you're worried. Fair enough, I'm here for you. And just like kind of say that to it. For example, before yoga, I was quite like, not on adrenaline like I felt quite relaxed from my day I'm not gonna lie but I was definitely holding in things that I didn't want to think about there's certain things that have stressed me out today and I haven't wanted to think about them it could be things like oh my Instagram isn't doing as well or like oh this video won't do as good or like it's very much things that are to do with my perspective so in my head at the moment I think I'm not doing well silly goose Anna it's all got to do with tied in like I'm not thinking I'm good enough, me not deserving this job, like my brain likes to think like that. If it's not bullying my body, it's bullying like other parts of me. But saying all of this, I do feel like I'm going into a different shift into my life. Not into my life, a new chapter as I do. I feel that I'm a person that evolves quite, evolves and adapts. And even let's say within months, I'm always constantly changing my mindsets and ways, which I think is a good thing. It's, you know, it's a healthy thing to be constantly changing and evolving. The direction that I want to push myself in, or not even push myself in, where I feel that I'm going at the moment is really listening to more people and more wisdom. Listening to other people that know more to you is like such an amazing thing. I'm listening to so many more podcasts at the moment of just these people talking. If you want a podcast recommendation, Diary of a CEO, they have these amazing people on and sometimes you click on it and you're like, oh, this won't interest me. But every single person has a story to tell and some, and most times something that you can relate to. I also feel more inspired to read a bit more. At the beginning of the year, I read so many books and there was a part of me that really loved this self-development part. And then I remember hearing this thing that was like, oh all this chat on self-development it's just like practice 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 but you never do and, I, and back then i was like oh yeah like maybe it is a bit weird like always doing it so i kind of stopped it but no when i'm in my learning phase of life and my seeking wisdom from others and you know just really absorbed into all the information and how you can feel better and breath work and meditation and and another thing is just having fun i think that is something i need to bring back into my life like I don't need to think about if anything's like optimal or or will it be the best use of my time or or will I make the most money out of it or anything like that. It's like, do I find it fun? Like, if I could be thinking my day, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. Yes, there's always those little things that you need to do, but why don't I go rock climbing or why don't I go running or why don't I go 
Okay, running's a lie. I don't necessarily find that excitingly fun, fun, fun. But, you know, why don't I go trampolining or do something that I would love to do? So that's just what I'm thinking about. I'm going to journal. Um, and another reason, wait, let me get my journal. This is going to be, it's honestly a really weird notebook. Like, don't ask me. I just found it and this one just stuck to me. And I started this this time last year. And I want to tell you one of the reasons why you should journal. Firstly, when you write with flow. So you could start with a sentence saying, um... I feel a bit anxious, not sure why. Oh, mum did scream at me earlier, that kind of annoyed me. And then you go, why did it annoy you? And you go, um, well, I just feel like she never really listens to me. And you basically go on and on and on and you'll write with flow and you'll end up like coming to another point of your life where you felt like this. And so then you could say, let's say with another story, um, oh, the reason why I got really upset and my friend like really raised their voice at me and whatever, oh, it's because my dad used to really raise that voice at me and I got really scared so it's like linking situations which make you understand yourself and bearing in mind I have not journaled in about a month so I'm not keeping to my word but I will journal tonight and the other benefit is realizing your progress when you are in the moment when you're having a bad day when you're having a good day whatever day you're having you don't realize that you actually used to be in a different mindset or that you could be better when I was in my lowest days of recovery of depression of anxiety I genuinely did not think that that there could be different ways to think. When I was so deep into my eating disorder, I did not know that there would be days where I didn't think about food or I didn't think about, you know, stuff like that. You just didn't realise. So whenever I feel brave enough to read back, I don't do it every time I journal, probably like, you know, let's say once a month when I'm actually journaling. journaling. So I'm actually going to read you some of my journal. This is scary. So the first thing in my journal is I wrote three quotes and I repeated these quotes a lot to myself. I'm thinking about it now. It's probably the three things that really got me through certain phases and still help me now. Number one is what we say to ourselves in the privacy of our own mind matters. And that really helped me when I was in my eating disorder recovery because I was just like, I didn't understand parts of why I should do it and then realizing that like if you're beating yourself up in your brain like that matters and that should be enough of a reason to get better and to feel better because what you say to yourself matters another one is you're allowed to reinvent yourself now this could speak to you in lots of different ways for me it was in terms of my social media I felt like I had created an image and I felt so stuck I did not know what to do and I felt like I oh my god I felt so stuck and by writing down and understanding that you are allowed to reinvent yourself. Let's say you're at school and you've got a group of friends and you're not enjoying yourself and you're not the person you want to be. You're allowed to reinvent yourself. You just are. You're allowed to. You are completely in charge of your life and you're allowed to do exactly what you want to do. And the last one is happiness looks gorgeous on you, which it does. A smile does make yourself look gorgeous. Also, the last thing that really, just reading back now, is... Sometimes I actually gain wisdom from reading back at my old self because at some points in the last year, I was actually, let's say, more aware than I am right now. Because, you know, you get busy with things, blah, blah, blah. And I had more insight to life and wisdom a couple of months ago or two weeks ago or six months ago or eight months ago. So then to actually reread your own understandings really hit well. Mm -hmm.